Not having a messy kitchen will not cause you to go broke, as some would have you believe. DIY projects and regular cleaning will ensure that your newly organized kitchen will serve you well for many years to come. The point is to use your ingenuity to make something new out of something old, or to find a new use for something that would otherwise go to waste. Need help figuring out how to get started? Relax, here are 12 simple DIY kitchen projects that will give you some extra storage afterward. As always, Simphome presents you with the list. Number 12. A DIY Hood Fan with Storage Idea First, gather plywood to build the box using wood glue and an air gun. Attach the box atop the hood with wood screws and drill. After that, attach the front door while installing a continuous hinge using small gold wood screws. Lastly, finish your piece by staining the whole unit your preferred color. Number 11. A Knife and Cutting Board Drawer Transformation by Queen Bee of Honeydews Begin by measuring the drawer's opening width before cutting all the dowels and planks precisely according to the measured sizes. Then, build the knife block with openings to accommodate all the scissors and knives. Continue the project by adding storage for the cutting boards. After that, it's optional to attach the cutting board storage with the knife block or to separate them. Add corner brackets afterwards to secure their place. Number 10. An Easy DIY Wood Spice Drawer Organizer from DecorHint First, measure the width and length inside your drawer. You will also need to measure the height of your spice containers. These measurements will determine the dimension of your racks. Then, cut the wood to length. The length should equal your drawer, and the width should be a bit larger than the height of your spice containers. Next, attach the wood spice riser whose length should be equal to your drawer and the width is 2 inches to each wood rack using wood glue and brad nailers. Insert the rack into your drawer and enjoy organizing your spices. Number 9. A Rustic Yet Pretty Kitchen Drawer Transformation from Golubka Kitchen First, create the frame that hosts the drawer. If you already have one, you only need to find several vintage fruit crates and make a twist if necessary. If the crates do not fit because they're longer than the frame, try disassembling them so that you can cut them to length and rebuild them. Consider installing a wooden board with drawer slides in each opening. Then you can position the crate on it. This way the crate can slide smoothly on the tracks, giving you easy access. Number 8. A Drawer Organization Project for T-Holics Drawer dividers may not be new to you, especially if you have clutter. Organizing your kitchen with them is a smart idea. However, cleaning the drawers will be a hassle since you'll have to clean every compartment. Since it's not fixed to the drawer, this drawer divider is the ideal option for you. Only an insert fits tightly into the drawer. Since it's an insert, you can slip them in and out easily when you clean it. Number 7. Use the awkward space for a pantry cabinet. The first step is to prepare the cut plywood pieces by drilling pocket holes, sanding the surfaces, and cleaning the dust afterward. Then, assemble the pantry cabinet with the help of corner clamps to hold the big pieces upright if you have no assistance. After that, paint and install the pantry cabinet to the wall before attaching the cabinet doors. Now, it leaves you only with the final step, organizing your new pantry. Number 6. A Mounted Trash Can Under the Sink First, decide the can dimension that fits your cabinet and cut a half-inch plywood into the bottom and the front sizes. Then, sand all of them and remove the dust afterward. Assemble the pieces using glue and brad nails. Wipe the excess glue, if any, then use wood filler as required. Next, apply paint and stain in a color that suits your cabinet. Attach the angle brackets, mount the trash can on the cabinet door, and your kitchen will be trash can free. Number 5. A two-tiered DIY bread box project idea. First, build the sides by cutting the front and back side boards. Then, create a 45-degree angle on the top of the front sideboard. After that, attach the boards together. Remember to place the pocket holes on the inside. They also must mirror the two sides. This bread box features a built-in cutting board. Thus, you'll also need to get the assembled side pieces and router a groove on the inside to house the cutting board. The groove should be 1 quarter inch deep and 3 quarter inches thick. The most important thing is the groove has to stop at 3 quarter inches away from the back. Then, assemble the bottom and back. Attach the bottom to the side and attach the back. When attaching the top, make sure it's flush to the back and hangs over each edge 14 inches. Number 4. A 3-tier spice rack idea. Step 1. Measure the jar's diameter and height to determine each tier's depth and height. Measure your cabinet dimension to decide on the board cut list and cut the boards according to it with the table saw. 
After that, clear out your cabinet before installing the tiered rack. You can use a clamp to secure each tier when nailing. For the finishing step, begin with taping the unwanted part, filling the uneven spaces, and letting them dry for 24 hours before sanding. After removing the sanding dust, coat the entire tiered spice rack with prime and paint. Number 3. A straightforward $10 rollout project for kitchen cabinet idea by Anna White. Building this shelf will depend on how the shelf is installed and what kind of cabinet you have. If the shelf is fixed to the cabinet, you can unscrew it. If it simply sits on shelf pins, you can just remove it. Now, go check your cabinet. If your cabinet is frameless, installing a rollout shelf will be a breeze. You only need to remove the shelf and cut it so that you get 1 inch less in overall width. Then install the drawer slides and the shelf you removed. Number 2. A chic yet functional dresser to kitchen island transformation idea by Hearthwood Home. The first thing you do to turn your dresser into a kitchen island is to remove the top of the dresser. Then install corbels to support your countertop. Once you have removed the top and attached the corbels, you can install your countertop to the perimeter of the dresser and the corbels tops. To finish it off, fill in the holes with wood filler. Finally, stain the top and paint the island white to carve out a farmhouse look. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have Simphome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number one. A DIY storage console project idea by Woodshop Diaries. First, cut one sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood into three 16-inch wide strips. Then, get another sheet and cut out another 16-inch strip. After that, cut four pieces at 39 and a quarter inch and four pieces at 31 and a half inch from those strips. Now, you need to make the carcass by attaching the 31 and a half inch pieces to the 39 and a quarter inch pieces. You should get two carcasses. Attach the bottom shelf. It's supposed to be three and a half inches from the ground. Then, assemble the top. Once you've assembled the two sides, cut two pieces from the 16 inch strips to get 15 and a quarter inches long. Then, assemble the pieces and make sure that all the shelves are at the same height. After that, you can add the top cubby dividers to form the storage console, face frame, back and trim, and doors. Finally, apply any finish as you wish. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon!